Hey guys, welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Uh, my name is Alan, brought to you by Premiere Pro Tips. And uh, first of all, I wanted to introduce this video by just saying that I made a Facebook page. So if you guys have any questions or concerns or anything like that, that's a good way to reach me as opposed to like the comments. Um, I do read the comments from time to time, but sometimes it's just sometimes it's just not too user friendly. So. Um, the Facebook page will be an easier way for me to stay in touch with you guys. But uh, without further ado, I have a tutorial here about making a watermark on your videos. Um, as you can see here, I've got this uh, PPT, Premiere Pro Tips, watermark on this video. So a watermark can be used if you're, um, you've got a video that you don't want someone to steal off of you, but you just want to show them. So it's good for like clients and professional work like that. So. Um, I'm going to show you two ways how to do it. First, I'm going to show you how to do it if you already have a watermark. Um, perhaps you have one that was made in like Photoshop or something and you just want to add it on there. Then I'll show you how to do it that way. And I'll also show you how to make your own watermark using Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, so here's what it'll look like in the final um, when we're done with it. And so as you can see, it's got that watermark right there. So first thing we want to do is we want to take our video that uh, I want to take the video that's underneath it and have it. I'm going to rescale this first so it doesn't look so funny. Alrighty. So I got the video and then I just want to add the watermark. Um, so here I have a um, PNG file that's um, my watermark that I made in Photoshop just really fast um, right before I started recording this tutorial. Um, so first what I did is I grabbed the PNG file and I dragged it into video 2. Um, it just has to be on the very top layer of your video. You can, like if you had another video or something like that in video 2, you can always put the watermark on video 3. You just want to make sure that the watermark's on the top layer, that way we can actually see it. So as you can see when I uh, put it over the video, and I also um, increased the duration of it because you want it to go the full duration. Um, but that's always up to you and uh, and then depending on the size of it you might have to rescale it and stuff like that um, some people like to put just watermarks or logos you know on the top of their video just so people know um, like where it came from but for this one we're just going to make it span the whole width of it so you guys just get the idea so as you can see when we first bring it in it is very um, it's opaque so we want to um, change the opacity so all we're going to do is I'm going to click on the watermark here. I'm going to go into the effect controls panel and under opacity, if we do the drop down, we've got the percentage. Um, so this is completely up to taste. I'm just going to drag and drag. <laughs> I'm just going to grab it and drag to the left. And so that will adjust how uh, how dark this watermark will show up. So that's at 79. So as you can see, you can see the watermark and you can also see the video. So it depends on how obvious you want the watermark to be. Um, so yeah, it's, that's just up to your liking. So that's how to do it if you already have a pre-existing watermark um, that was created in like Photoshop or something. So next, I am going to show you how to make your own watermark in, um, in Adobe Premiere Pro and uh, so we're just going to make a title and we're going to change the opacity on it. So um, I'm going to try to make something similar to the one that I made there, but using Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'm going to go to the um, our project where we import all of our files. I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to new item, and I'm going to make a new title. Another way of doing this is you could always go to the top and just go to new title and then default still. I'm going to label this uh, PPT watermark and then and then just PP for Premiere Pro since this one over here is already labeled the same as one. Um, you're going to want to keep the width and the height the same, and I'm just going to press OK. And then that prompts us to our uh, title screen. Um, it's up to you. If, or yeah, I, I know that there's, oh here it is. Yeah, it, it's up to you if you want this show background video. What that does is it just shows what, uh, so depending on where the red mark is on the timeline, it uh that it'll show that behind it so it's up to you if you just want an idea of what it's going to look like or if you don't want that stuff in the way that that works too um so we don't want there to be a background on this um title because we want it clear because we just want the watermark 
Um, so let's see. Um, I wonder. Um, I'm not sure how to go about because I I had that like outline around it. So let's see if I can try to duplicate that. I'm not completely sure. Um, okay, I can have it not filled, and then I can put add a stroke to it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so what I did there was, um, I'm just going to go back. Okay, so so when I created the um, the rounded corner rectangle here, so I'm just going to make it the size that I want. The next what I'm going to do is, and by the way, this is all up to you, how you want your watermark to look. Um, this is just the approach that I'm taking on it. So, um, so I got the rounded rectangle, and I don't want it to be filled in, so I'm going to uncheck that. However, I want to add a stroke to it. Um, it doesn't really matter inner or outer. It just like what that'll do is it either has the stroke go on the inside like that, or it'll go on the outside. So I'm just going to do inner. So I'm going to press add, and then you can um, adjust the size of it, of course. Um, that looks good. Um, so we got that, and then I'm just going to go to the type tool right here, and I'm going to click, and I'm going to type in PPT. However, it's some um, horrible font, so I'm going to change it. I'm just For the sake of the video, I'm just going to choose the first one I see. I'm also going to want to increase the font size to my liking. And then I'm going to center it as well. Um, a good way to center stuff is you click on either the text or the box, or you can actually click on both like I just did there. And you just press the uh, the center button, like so. Actually, I'm not sure. Did that center? Yeah. Gotcha. Oh. Yeah, this font's a little bit funny. But, um, but yeah. These buttons right here, center whatever you press. So one of them centers uh, vertically, and the other does a horizontal center. So here's the watermark I created. Once um, once you're happy with it, oh, and also, why not? I'm, I'm going to change the color of this just so I know that some watermarks are blue, so let's go blue. So I just changed the color of these to make them blue for the sake of the video. So um, after that you just exit out of it and you'll see here that we have the, um, the watermark that I just created. So I'm going to click and drag it and once again I'm going to put it at the topmost layer of my video. And there we go. Um, I'm also going to increase the scale a little bit. And I'm also going to change the opacity just like in the other one. So I'm going to click, drag it to the left. And then there's that watermark. So um, obviously this is all to taste. Um, personally, I think that this is a little, the blue is a little bright. But um, So if I were to go back and do it, I'd probably change the color on it. But um, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to do that for your guys' time. But you guys get the general idea. So you can do it either if you have an existing watermark or if you want to make one, we did that as well. Um, if you guys have any questions about this tutorial, uh, please leave a comment or you can uh, post onto my Facebook page, I'll be putting that in the description. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I plan on posting a whole bunch of tutorials um, soon here. So thanks again, my name is Alan from Premiere Pro Tips, have a great day.